Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install or excavation in Minecraft 1.14.4. What this mod does is allow you to do things like mine whole veins of ore, cut down entire trees, or any other tool-based action actually. It was very interesting. Simply and easily you can configure it and do all sorts of awesome stuff. You can even change like, you know, lot like blocks that won't break and all sorts of cool stuff which can be helpful in a mod pack but if you just wanted to install this for your own you know general world you're probably want to gonna you're gonna want to do everything so it is absolutely incredible and a very very cool mod it reminds me of vein miner from back in the day it's like you're doing the exact same thing that vein miner would do back in the day so if you used to use vein miner or excavation is your new vein miner that's why it's in the title because it's, it's the same thing and we're going to be showing you exactly how to get it in this video but first and foremost we do have a much more sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex get an incredible 24-hour dnos protected minecraft server for you and your friends we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so again if you were looking for a great minecraft server apex minecraft hosting is the only place to go the breakdown.xyz slash apex first link down below nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into it let's get our excavation downloaded you can find ex or excavation at the second link down below and once you're there you're going to find or excavation here this is the official or excavation download page come over here to the right hand sidebar scroll down and then you'll see minecraft 1.14 and then you'll have the or excavation mod under it basically this is or excavation for minecraft 1.14 pretty simple stuff there you want to highlight it come over here make sure it is under the 1.14 one and then click this purple download button next to the 1.14 version it'll then take you off and download will begin automatically after five seconds it will download down here in the bottom left there it is and as long as it does say or excavation in the title you're good to keep the file on Google Chrome. If you're almost in the Firefox, a bit different. It's going to pop them in the center of your screen where you're going to want to save the file in the center of your screen. Now, once you've done that, we can go ahead and download Forge. We need to download Forge because, well, Forge is what Or Excavation used to run and install on Minecraft. So once we're on this page, which is the third link down below, you can scroll down and click the green Download Forge button here. Before we do that, though, this is our in-depth tutorial on installing Forge. And if I do go too fast in this video or skip something, or you have any other issues, then come back here, right, and make sure you go through this tutorial because it goes through a lot of the steps that, uh, you know, we might not go through here troubleshooting-wise. This is going to have it in here, whereas this video Video, which is more about or excavation slash vein miner than installing forge won't have but nevertheless once you're here click this green download forge button then it'll take you off forge's official website where you want to make sure the 1.14.4 version of forge is selected as you can see we are on mc 1.14.4 here if you aren't on mc 1.14.4 there come over here to the left hand sidebar click on the plus on 1.14 then click on 1.14.4 there once you see mc 1.14.4 here we can go under download latest and click the installer button here once you click on that, it will go ahead and download in the bottom left. You will need to keep the file, but it is 100% safe to do so as long as it starts with Forge. Ours does, so click keep. Mozilla Firefox, you guessed it, you'll still need to make sure you do save the file in the center of your screen, which is safe as long as it says Forge in the title. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser. On our desktop here, we have Forge and we have Or Excavation. Forge is what we're going to be starting with because Or Excavation relies on Forge to run. So let's go ahead and right click on Forge here, click on Open With, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. What if you don't have that though? No worries whatsoever. Sorry about that Slack notification. I was forgot to go into do not disturb there. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge installed. So if you can't install Forge, if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary, what do you do? Well, you go up here, or in the description of the video more likely, to the browser of your choice, and you go to this link in the description down below, which is our how to download and install Java for Minecraft tutorial. It shows you how to get Java for Minecraft mods. And basically in doing that, you get Java and you get the Java development kit so you can run the Minecraft mods and Forge and all that stuff. So go through this tutorial and then it should work. If it doesn't work though, you need to run the jar fix, which makes all the dot jar files on your computer work with java once again very simple very, very easy program and this tells you how to run it nevertheless at this point we go ahead and minimize our browser and once we've done that we can finally right click on forge click on open with and then click on java tm platform se binary and click ok it will then open up the forge mod system installer here where we then want to go ahead and click on install client and then click ok and then go through download install forge go through the entire installation process of forge get everything up and running and then it'll successfully install there we go now if it doesn't give you this if you don't get this successfully install box what do you do what do you do well it's perfectly fine you just need to go play minecraft 1.14.4 with no mods no anything installed just minecraft 1.14.4 and then come back here and this will work so go ahead and click ok here and it will close out of this and guess what forge is installed but or excavation is not so let's go ahead and get that installed 
To do that, go ahead and click the little windows icons in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon in the bottom left or top left. Basically, it's on the left side of your screen at the top or bottom left, that little windows icon there. Click on that and then go ahead and type in run, R-U-N. You'll have this run application here. And once you click on that run application, you'll then see percent app data percent. Wait, what? No, you won't. That's what we need to type. We need to type percent app data percent right here. So percent sign, app data percent sign, exactly like that, right like there. And then go ahead and click OK. That will then open up your roaming folder here. And in your roaming folder, you will have a dot Minecraft folder. In that dot Minecraft folder, you'll have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Well, I don't either. There's no mods folder there. What do we do? No worries. Go ahead and right click over here in this white space, create a new folder and then title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open up your newly created mods folder by the way if it's not exactly like that it will not work so you want to make sure it's mods all lowercase exactly like that then open it on up now to install our excavation all you've got to do is drag and drop it into your mods folder here once it's in your mods folder we can go ahead and uh, say it's installed because it is but we need to make sure that we're playing the correct version of minecraft so let's go ahead and open up our trusty minecraft launcher here and oh i had a game crash fine there but nevertheless once you're in the minecraft launcher you want to click the a little arrow here next to the play button and then select the forge profile but what if you don't have the forge profile in here what if you do and it's not 1.14.4 well no worries just click on installations up here and then you want to create a new profile to do this go ahead and click the plus new right here so go ahead and click on that and then in here you want to title this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdown Craft.com. Why am I doing that? Because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have grief protected survival, aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy, and an author all awesome time and great for like automation, automated farms, things like that. And then we have medieval survival with over 25 custom quests and an incredible player based economy. You will absolutely love it jobs, all of that stuff. Come play with us on those survival servers. But that's not it. We also have a custom Skyblock server with incredible OP enchantments, custom islands, custom mini, just everything is custom. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. But nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click the version right here. And under that version, you'll have this drop down box. Click on that. And then you want to scroll down until you find the Forge version. As you can see, here we are, release 1.14.4 Forge. Go ahead and click on that. And then go ahead and click Create here. Then you'll have the new profile you created. In my case, play.breakdowncraft.com. Scroll over, click the green play button, and then it will open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with the Ore Excavation mod installed. Now, here's one thing I'm curious in. If we have to go into like the config file of the mod to change our, um, our key, Right, to be able to, to do the, the ore excavation and be able to mine everything, or if it'll be in the uh, the controls menu. And I suspect it's gonna be in the controls menu because, well, that's just something that I've that I've noticed there. Now, one thing you might run into here is that uh, mod freezes, right? This is something that occasionally will, for some reason, happen with Forge in Minecraft 1.14. If this happens, here's, here's what you do. Very, very simple. Click the uh, click on Minecraft first. It's gonna go non-responding. It's gonna say it's this big thing. It's gonna turn white, no worries. Click on the red X up here. See this red X? Click on that. And then it's gonna say, oh, Java Team Platform SC Binary is not responding. Oh man, that's, that sounds bad. It's not. Click on close the program. Click on cancel there. It's gonna open up the Minecraft launcher like this. I'm gonna go ahead and restart my Minecraft launcher right there. So just close out your Minecraft launcher, open it back up. Then just go ahead and click the pray button. Same profile, same everything. You're gonna go go ahead and click play and it will open up Minecraft 1.14. Now you will notice it's gonna do something a little different here. It's gonna open up this FML early loading process, basically forge mod loader early loading process. That's, that's perfectly normal, it's perfectly fine. It's gonna open up, it's gonna go through things and then it's gonna open up Minecraft and it will run perfectly fine. Once you've done this, we'll be able to see exactly about like what I was talking about. I'm curious about that Bane Miner key here. So let's go ahead and click on options. I'm actually running the um, Sortex resource pack for, for those of you who, who might be interested. We're just going to go ahead and click done, go through. It's going to reload all that, and then it'll be default Minecraft. If we click on controls here, I'm curious. You should be able to find in here the Vein Miner or, you know, like, things so we have or excavation so we have keyboard key that, that's not what i want i want to be able to like know what my key is for this so what should we make it i'm, I'm kind of curious what if we hold like h is that that's gonna actually what what g okay i was about to say i thought one of those g or h so it was g there so we're going to make that g and when we're holding g we can use or excavation so let's go ahead and jump in by the way if you want to change that, that that's how you do it but nevertheless let's go ahead and uh, jump into one of these i think I think we're safe to jump into the, actually the storage drawer one because I've cleared that world before. It's very, very weird doing all these mod tutorials. Sometimes you get worlds that have like mods in them and you want to make sure you can join them. There we go. So here we are. So this is great. Let's go ahead and get myself a diamond axe first. 
and then we'll get a diamond pickaxe as well. So let's go ahead and then go into survival, right like so. And G is the button we hold, so we hold G here, and then do that, boom, there we go. I don't think there's any denying that ore excavation is in fact working there. We'll do it one more time, boom, there we go. And we can even use it on this big tree here, Booyah, there we go. Now, there is a limit, as you can see. We, we did hit the limit there. It didn't go all the way up because there is a limit. However, this one's a bit smaller and it is going to be able to get all of that one. So, awesome stuff there. But what if you're looking at uh, it using like it on something like this, right? So we have some, some like diorite slabs here. Is it gonna work? Yep, it is. There you go, right like so. Now, like I said, there is a limit. So if we run over here and we do find like some stone or even like, here's an example. Nope, swam there by accident. But we go ahead and use it on this. Boom, it's gonna mine all of that coal there. But there is going to be a limit on this stone, right? Like, it's not going to mine all the stone in the world. So we hold G and do this. It is going to mine quite a bit. As you can see, it mines a lot. But uh, actually gave us, how many? 64 stacks of cobblestone. 264 stacks of cobblestone. But overall, not too bad. So, um, yeah, there you go. That is how you can install the uh, Ore Excavator mod, or Ore Excavation mod, also known as Vein Miner. That's what I've been calling it this entire video because that's what I know it as from back in the day. In Minecraft 1.14. Four. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. It means the world to me. And I can't wait to see you on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. By the way, I could just do this all day. Like, this is just so fun. Boom, boom, taking care of it. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video. And I am out. Peace.